Hey friends, uh, Jason O'Dell here, luminescentphoto.com. And um, I wanted to uh, say we're getting to the end of the year, so happy holidays to everybody out there. But more importantly, um, I wanted to show some cool stuff that just came out uh, very recently, just last week actually, um, in the latest update to Adobe Camera Raw. Now, if you use Lightroom, camera raws under the hood but what i'm going to show you today is um, only available as technology preview and camera raw and that's very very cool stuff it is the ability to remove reflections automatically from photos and if you're using camera raw or bridge you can just launch that directly by opening your image in Photoshop. But what I want to show you today is how to get there from Lightroom very easily. And I'm using Lightroom Classic to do this. This is going to be the easiest way for you to do that. So um, let's jump over to my Lightroom screen where I've got an image. I deliberately went out to our local zoo to get photos because I knew there would be a lot of reflection indoors in the primate house this time of year in December in Colorado. So here's our friend, the, the lowland gorilla. And you can see that there's this huge reflection on there and we want to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm in Lightroom. I want to open this image in Photoshop, but I need to bypass the Lightroom conversion and instead use ACR. So how do you do that? Pretty easy. You just, you can right click or you can go to photo uh, edit in command and I'm going to choose open as smart object in Photoshop and what that does is it sends a copy of the file over to Photoshop but it does it as a raw embedded smart object okay so you're going to launch Photoshop it's going to come up and here's our our window and if you're using Photoshop you've you're probably familiar with this but what you want to do is find the layers panel okay that's the key one down here my bottom right side of my screen and there is this uh, smart object layer and you can tell it's a smart object because it's got this little icon at the bottom now i'm not going to edit this right in photoshop instead i'm going to double click on the smart object and when you do that it brings up camera raw now this is camera raw 17.1 you need to be on this version to get this feature okay and uh, I'm not going to go through the entire process today, but I am going to say it's AI based. So GPU speed is going to be important. Um, I'm running a Mac studio for this and the GPU is, is pretty healthy for that. So what I'm going to do um, is if I were working on this um, in my normal workflow, I would run things like denoise first to get that out of the way. I'm going to skip that right now and go straight to the reflection removal. And where do you find it? You find it in the, the healing or remove tool upper right side of my screen in my case, or the B command. And here's our normal clone tools. But now there is this distraction removal option right here. And I'm going to click reflections. And this is where if you have an older computer or you don't have a good GPU, it might take a little while. So it's just going to run this little algorithm right now. Um, and we have the progress bar that you got to wait for. Fortunately for me, it doesn't take terribly long to do this. Hey, and look at that. It's gone. Like magic, it's gone. So I am in a PSD file. So if I want to edit the remaining um, the image using you know raw tools, I'm going to do it right here. But, you know, let's say I had a little, you know, contrast adjustment, whatever you want to do. You can do your masking, whatnot. When you're all done, click OK. And then just save the file. And once it's done saving, we can quit that and go back to Lightroom. Now, this is still a PSD file in Lightroom, which I could work on if I wanted to, but it's not the raw file anymore. The importance and the elegance of this particular workflow, though, is to allow you to not have to worry about synchronizing folders, re-importing anything. If you're just using a ACR Photoshop workflow, you know what you're doing and it's all good. But in this particular case, this way I can keep the image in Lightroom, in my catalog, um, I can go back to it by opening it up as the PSD, opening that original image and that raw files embedded so I can always invoke camera raw. So that is how you use the new feature, this technology preview of reflection removal in camera raw 17.1. Uh, and you can invoke it from Lightroom. So again, until next time, I'm Jason O'Dell, 
Check out my website, luminescentphoto.com. I just posted a free download of 12 desktop photos that you can use for desktop backgrounds. It's a free download. Check it out. Um, you can get it from my site. And until next time, I'll see you later.